do you think that cis directors and actors, so non-trans people, can they do justice to trans stories? Yes, they can, of course. And to me, it's not, I don't like being dogmatic in these kinds of things. And I'm I'm often of two minds where I have a a political perspective and an aesthetic perspective. Politically speaking, my main concern is that there's a tremendous amount of violence against trans women, mostly black and Latina trans women here in the States. And that violence is often motivated by the fact that men who are intimate partners with trans women are afraid that being with a trans woman somehow makes them less masculine or possibly even gay. And in those cultures, cultures, they need to reassert their masculinity and they often do that through violence. But it's all coming from other people, society saying, well, that trans woman is really a man, you know, so therefore what you're doing is somehow gay or less masculine. And every time we have someone like Eddie Redmayne or Jeffrey Tambor or Jared Leto play a trans woman, we're exasperating that essential problem. And when Eddie takes this role in Danish Girl, the end result is going to be violence against real trans women. And th- and that, so politically, I have a big problem with it. Aesthetically, of course, I think I, I think actors can do any kinds of roles, and I'm thrilled to see it. And, and I, I know Eddie personally, and I, and I did a little bit of work on the Danish Girl, and I know that he genuinely cares, and he talked to a ton of trans people, and I thought there was a, a level of of nuance and a sensitivity and craft that he brought to bear that I personally did find very moving. It's not the film that I would have made. It's not the film I would have written. It's not the performance I would have given, but I certainly appreciate it. And I know that there's an honesty there. Can you just make that link for me? I don't, I'm not clear on how him taking that role leads to violence against trans women. What people have internalized through things like Eddie Redmayne playing this character is that a trans woman is really a man. You know, behind the character of Mora on Transparent, we see um, a straight guy, Jeffrey Tambor. You know, behind Lily, we see Eddie Redmayne. You know, behind the Dallas Buyers Club Rayon's character, we see Jared Leto. And that's who the audience knows. So they see this, you know, it's often this beautiful woman on screen and this feminine woman. And we think, but that's really Jared Leto. That's really Eddie Redmayne. It's really a man behind it. So that that attitude then gets internalized. And when someone sees me, uh, let's say a straight guy meets me, he's attracted to me as a woman, wants to be with me, is okay with me as a woman. But then he's internalized this message of everyone else that says, but I'm really a man. And then that triggers a crisis in him because Mm -hmm. he's attracted to me as a woman. He might be straight. But now he thinks everyone else is going to think I'm gay because everyone else thinks this trans woman is really a man. And that in certain communities can lead to violence. 